Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry more than 22 years. Today, I'll be discussing very interesting topic that is cryo engineering or cryogenic engineering. Now, what is cryogenic means actually the word cryogenic, the word cryo comes from a Greek word which means cold. Now, how much cold then you can say it is a cryo? If it is zero degree, whether you can say it is a cryo? No. Cryo means it is very, very cold, minus 180 degrees centigrade and below that actually, less than that actually, that is a cryogenic and there are a lot of study on it, there are a lot of manufacturing, engineering applications are there in cryogenic because so basically, you know, liquid nitrogen actually is used as a medium for using this cryogenic uh, exercise. There are five areas in industry majorly use cryogenic applications, number one is Aerospace industry, there are cryogenic rocket engines are there in manufacturing industry, mechanical manufacturing industry for fitment purposes, transition fit it is used, and in the medical field also like for storing purposes, storing of the bloods, etc., medicines, etc. And electronics field difficult to separate the composite material in fuel research industry also use cryogenic you know, applications actually. Now, in uh, manufacturing industry, which we used to call a sustainable manufacturing and future manufacturing, where we use this liquid uh, nitrogen instead of uh, normal conventional coolant. You know, when metal is cutting in engineering industry, still says still needs to be cut with some cutting tools. So you need to give some liquid on it, which is called technically coolant. Now. And that is a water temperature, basically 20 degrees centigrade, 30 degrees centigrade, and some, some chemical property. But instead of that, if you can inject minus 180 degree cold, then that, so this was the concept actually. So now, this, this is a cryogenic machining is going on. Instead of giving water with some chemicals during the cutting action of the metal to reduce the temperature of the cutting tool as well as the metal to improve the productivity and tool life, Nowadays, in all you know, the sustainable manufacturing concept, this liquid nitrogen is used for machining of the metallic materials. And it has got is seen that surface finish is improved actually by if you use this liquid nitrogen as a coolant and a lot of other productivity and the total, you know, productivity is uh, improved by uh, applying this cryogenic material. And in surgery, in medical application also find that blood, you know, uh, storage etc the liquid nitrogen is used there are a lot of medicine uh, this liquid nitrogen is used for storing special medicine and as I said already in rocket engine this uh, liquid nitrogen is used and in commercial way it has come you know there are barrels this type of liquid nitrogen storing barrel and it uh, goes and in industry they take, you know call this barrel uh, tankers and this tanker you know depending on the requirement there are small storage uh, tanks like that these are you know uh, where you can put this liquid nitrogen and then you can use as per your requirement like so uh, and the liquid nitrogen is a very dangerous as it is minus 180 degrees centigrade it is, it is a, it is a you know, hazardous for your eyes hazardous for your skin so you need to have a good protection safety protections there are a lot of gloves and dresses and then these are very very costly these cryogenic gloves i've been used this cryogenic gloves many times in my engineering industry like cost of one gloves is uh, say about twenty thousand rupees which is very very costly with respect to the normal industrial gloves actually you can see here in this picture i'm working with this liquid nitrogen and uh, fitting some shaft into a hole actually but there is a transition feed so if you immerse this liquid shaft, steel shaft into liquid nitrogen by minus 200 degrees centigrade temperature it got shrink and get smaller then you insert into the product where you want to insert it then it will automatically expand in few seconds so this is a basically a special fitment process in manufacturing industry you can see here one of my previous companies used to do this type of transition feed of the mechanical components like this way so bad like in bearing fitment on the machine components these are the things actually and this is a very interesting process and i have done more than 10 uh, more than 10 years uh, you know experience on this liquid nitrogen transition feed in you know manufacturing industry 
So we find this presentation is given some new information on the special array of manufacturing or engineering applications. You can share with your friends. And if you have not yet subscribed my new channel, you can subscribe my new channel by clicking on this bell icon so that you can get the notification for my future presentation. Thanks a lot for your attention and time.